Hey everybody, Vampire1444 here again, just to do another update of the films I got in like back end of May, well middle May onwards, up to a couple of weeks ago. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 films, so not many this month. So, yep, let's get on with it. As usual, we will start with the DVDs. Now, some of these films I've watched and some I haven't, because I've been really busy with work and home stuff. So, here we go. First one, Playing With Dolls. Now, this one I have seen. It's it's alright, it's not a bad film. Uh, the ending's rubbish. Uh, it's busy. A group of people get selected for a show to be on like a virtual reality show where they've got to survive for a weekend against a serial killer. They don't realise it's actually a real serial killer and starts killing them off while being filmed. Uh, but it's alright, not too bad. Some nice kills, the gore effects are quite good. That's the killer, nice mask, but he's a bit. Mm, not the best, but there we go. Nice cheap one, I think it was only about three quid. Next is another cheap one, two quid, paintball. Basically a group of people go into the woods for a game of paintball and they start getting hunted by somebody. Uh, it's not too bad, I, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, acting's alright. Not a huge amount of gore or anything, but some nice nice kills. So yeah, like I say, it's two quid, so not going to complain. Uh, I haven't watched this one yet, it's still sealed. Head cheerleader, dead cheerleader. No, nothing about it, never seen it before. It's just basically somebody starts killing off uh, cheerleaders and stuff, I think. By the looks of it. <laughs> so, let's have a look. Looks interesting, but it looks like the acting might be a bit hit and miss. But we'll see when I get around to watching it. Next ones are still sealed, but I have seen them before. So, and they're just cheap ones, so I'm not in any hurry to watch them. That's the Killer Shrews. But they basically got the, do the dogs in costumes to pretend like the giant shrews. It is what it is, just a cheap B movie. But it's fun, it's a fun little movie. Same with this one, Fog Island. Not technically a horror, more of a thriller. Basically, this guy went to prison, he's come out and he's invited people to spend a weekend at the, at the island that he has and all the people are, the, are people involved in putting them away. So he starts to bump them off. Uh, little low budget film, Line That Well, George Zuko from the 50s. So, yeah. Next is a film I've got on DVD, but 88 Films have released it just before dawn. Nice little 80s slasher. It's not a bad film, not the best, but. And of course, you get all that. Slasher film fan, ever extended cut, optional overseas versions, and all those extras, which I still need to look at the extras. The transfer of the film's alright, and like I say, the film's it's alright, it's not the best, but by no means the worst. And it's in the slip cover, there's the other, the other cover, and of course, you can reverse it. But I quite like that, so... Yeah, I'll just keep it like that. The next six are all from 88 Films as well. We have that, which is The Long Hair of Death. Now, I still need to watch these. Uh, that's the cover underneath. Italian Giallo Films. Never seen it before. Oh, it's best I've shown you the back because there's no writing on the back. Uh, 
have a box. Hold on a sec. Uh, there we go. Uh, basically, tells you what it is there. But it looks interesting. So, I'll have to sit down sometime. I say I've been really, really busy. Work's been keeping us busy. And unfortunately, I've been busy on my days off. Rearranging everything, moving rooms. So the next one. Oh, oh that's something's just come up on computer and gone off. I don't know what that is. I just shut the computer down. It's distracting us. Next film is Body Puzzle. Again, I haven't had a chance to watch it. Even though I've had it, I've, I've had it since May. Uh, he won't quit until he gets the final piece. Again, slip cover, same as the, there. And it basically tells you. By Lamberto Bava. Looks interesting. Well oh, then, can't wait to watch it. It's the extra, well, bonus features. Reversible sleeves and all that. Oh, I won't go back on. Uh, next one. Another slip cover. It's the perfume of the woman in dark. That's the front. That's the back. To take that off. Sorry, perfume of the lady in black. Uh, there you go, that's what it's about. Sounds like it could be fun. There's the extras. Oh yeah, that's the perfume of the lady in black. Next we have Beyond the Darkness, part of the Italian collection, same with the others. This was alright, not a bad film, some really nice kills in it. That's what it's about. Yeah, like I say, it was alright. Acting's what it acting was quite decent. Uh, kills were nice, the gore. Nice gore on it. So yeah, that was beyond the darkness. Next is the <laughs> um, absurd. By George Yamato. I quite enjoyed this, this was this was nice. Especially there when you see the nurse get killed. As it were, we were going old school and we are old school from time to time here with a song that reminds well, me. Like I say, it was, it was quite was quite good. I enjoyed it. The goal was okay, the kills were good, acting was half decent. So yeah, that's absurd. Next, I haven't watched yet, Enigma. This sounds actually quite good. It looks alright. If I get a chance I might watch this today. Well it's quiet and everybody's out. So that is Enigma. The next film Again, I haven't watched Is a Muck. Can I show you the back? Yeah. Yeah, you don't see an out. Yeah, it's bonus features. Uh, 
and that's what it's about at the back. Oh, but it's quite good. So yeah, that's a muck. You kidnapped beautiful women, forced them to do what he wanted, and what he wanted, everything. Yep, and finally, and I was really surprised to get it because I, I d didn't even know um, the dispatched to us. I actually got the film and then got the message saying it had been dispatched. So I got it kind of like, and vice versa to what, I, what it should have been. And that is Arrows, the bird with the crystal plumage. Uh, look at that cover. Love the cover. On the back, oops, tells you what it's about. Limited edition contents, 4K restoration, interviews. That's that's the cover, and in it you get you get the poster. I'm not going to unfold it all, but it's basically the poster is the cover, and obviously you get the the, the movie. DVD and Blu-ray. You also get little movie cards. It's actually making us want to get um, the Phenomena one, even though I've already got two versions of it. That one and that one. And you also get the nice little booklet. That basically tells you about the film, the making of it and everything. So yeah, that's that. And that's all I've got so far. Uh, I've got other stuff on order but haven't arrived. So I will see you next month. Uh, when I do my next update, hopefully I have a few more films then. In the meantime, I shall get back to my beer and go back on the computer. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Drop.